How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from last night, which was August 10th, 2021. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Thunder Rosa versus Zeta Zhang. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Thunder Rosa went over with the Prevarian Calavera choke. Match two, it was Red Velvet versus Scholar Moore. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Red Velvet went over with the final slice. Match three, it was 2.0, which are Matt Lee and Jeff Parker versus Adrian Alanis and Liam Gray. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, 2.0 went over because Jeff Parker pinned Adrian Alanis with a double hot shot from Matt Lee and Jeff Parker. Match four, it was Bear Country versus... Wait, wait, match four, it was Bear Country, which are Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder versus Chaos Project which are Luther and Serpentico, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Bear Country went over because Bear Bronson pinned, Lu pinned Luther with the, the assisted splash from Bear Boulder and Bear Bronson. Match five, it was Darby Allen versus Invictus Cash. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Darby Allen went over with the Last Supper. Match six, it was QT Marshall versus five. That was a great match, but the ending to it, QT Marshall went over with the Diamond Cutter. Match seven, it was Hikaleo versus Thad Brown. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Hikaleo went over with the Michinuko driver. Match eight, that was match seven, by the way. Match eight, it was Nyla Rose versus Valentina Rossi. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Nyla Rose went over with the Beast Bomb. Match nine, it was Daniel Garcia versus Fuego Del Sol. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Daniel Garcia went over with a butterfly lock, double ankle lock combination. Match 10, that was match 9, by the way. Match 10, it was Penelope Ford versus Sahara 7. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Penelope Ford went over with the Muda Lock. Match 11, it was the Pinnacle, which are Wardlow and Sean Spears versus Ripper Zabisco and Seth Gargas. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, the Pinnacle went over because Sean Spears pinned Ripper Zabisco with the C4. Match 12, it was the Hybrid 2, which are Angelico and Jack Evans versus Jay Freddy and Marcus Cross. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Hybrid 2 went over because Angelico pinned... No, Angelico made Jay Freddy tap out to the Navarro death roll. Match 13... That was match 12, by the way. Match 13, it was... The Lucha Brothers, which are Ray Phoenix and Pena El Cerro Mieto, versus the Wingmen, which are Cesar Bononi and J.D. Drake. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Lucha Brothers went over because Ray Phoenix pinned J.D. Drake with the Frog Splash. Match 14, it was Ty Conti versus Robin Renegade. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, 
Ty Conti went over with the DD tie. Match 15, it was Private Party, which are Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy versus The Best Friends, which are Chuck Taylor and, and Wheeler Yuta. That was, a, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Private Party went over because Mark Quinn pinned Wheeler Yuta with a roll-up, where after the match, Mark Quinn kicked Wheeler Yuta in the nuts, and the rest of the Hardy family office, which are Isaiah Cassidy and Helico, Jack Evans, and Jorah Joel, were getting ready to come into the ring and attack Wheeler Yuta and Chuck Taylor, but Orange Cassidy and Chris Statlander came just in time for the save, and the Hardy family office retreated while the best friend stood tall and everything. Jet was cool. Match, si match 16, it was the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, and Colt Cabana versus Joey Sweets, David Ramos, and Jake Manning. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, the Dark Order went over because Colt Cabana pinned Joey Sweets with the Chicago Skyline. And match that was, ma that, that was match 16, by the way. And match 17, which was the main event, it was the Dark Order, which are John Silver, Alex Reynolds, and 10, versus Dean, Alexa Dean Alexander, Arjun Singh, and T.I.M., that, that was a great match, but the ending to it, the Dark Order went over because ten, 10 made Dean Alexander pass out to the full Nelson. Now, there weren't any promos and segments during this episode of AEW Dark, so besides the matches, Taz and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show, they done awesome as usual. The referees for the event were Mike Posey, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsberg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Mike Posey refereed the match between Thunder Rosa versus Zeta Zang. Mike Posey refereed the match between... Red Velvet versus Skylar Moore. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between 2.0 versus Adrian Alanis and Liam Gray. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Bear Country versus Chaos Project. Paul Turner refereed the match between Darby Allen versus Invictus Cash. Bryce Rimsberg, that was Paul Tur that was Paul Turner, by the way. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between QT Marshall versus Five. Paul Turner refereed the match between Hikaleo versus Thad Brown. Mike Posey refereed the match between Nyla Rose versus Valentina Rossi. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Daniel Garcia versus Fuego Del Sol. Um, that was, uh, that was, that was Aubrey Edwards, by the way. Bryce Rimsberg refereed the match between Penelope Ford versus Sahara Seven. That was Bryce Rimsberg, by the way. Paul Turner refereed the match between Sean, yeah. Paul Turner refereed the match between Wardlow and Sean Spears versus, wait, wait a minute, Paul Turner, wait a minute, Paul Turner refereed the match between Wardlow and Sean Spears versus Ripper Zabisco and Seth Gargas. Mike Posey refereed the match between The Hybrid 2 versus J. Freddy and Marcus Cross. That was Mike Posey, by the way. Paul Turner refereed the match between the Lucha Brothers versus Cesar Bononi and JD Drake. That was that, that was Paul Turner that was Paul Turner by the way. 
Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Ty Conti versus Robin Renegade. That was Aubrey Edwards, by the way. Bryce Rimsburg. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Private Party versus Chuck Taylor and Wheeler Yuta. That was Bryce Rimsburg, by the way. Mike Posey refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Joey Sweets, David Ramos. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, yeah. Mike Posey refereed the match between The Dark Order versus... Joey Sweets, David Ramos, and Jake Manning. That was Mike Posey, by the way. And Paul Turner and Paul Turner refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Dean Alexander, Arjun Singh, and T.I.M. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now the match card for tonight's episode of All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite, it's going to be Chris Jericho versus Wardlow, and the stipulation is MJF will be at ringside. The Hardy family office, which are Matt Hardy, Mark Quinn, and Isaiah Cassidy versus the best friends, which are Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, and Wheeler Yuta. Um, Darby Allen versus Daniel Garcia, Kenny Omega, and the Young Bucks. Would, wait, the match card for tonight's episode of All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dynamite, it's going to be Chris Jericho versus Wardlow, and the stipulation is MJF will be at ringside. The Hardy Family Office, which are Matt Hardy, Mark Quinn, and Isaiah Cassidy versus The Best Friends, which are Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, and Wheeler Yuta. Kenny Omega and The Young Bucks, which are Matt and Nick Jackson versus Dante Martin and the Seidel Brothers, which are Matt and Mike Seidel. Um, Darby Allen versus Daniel Garcia. The Good Brothers, which are Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson, versus The Dark Order, which are Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, for the Impact Tag Team titles. And Nyla Rose versus Chris Statlander. So the match card for tonight's episode of All Elite Wrestling's AW Dynamite looks like it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, with that being said... My name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace.